All right, we got our little jewel home here. The first thing I'm doing, I'm taking the original battery here out. Uh, let's see if there's a date there. The original battery out. We're gonna stick this battery here in there and just check lights and see how everything looks and see if it'll turn over. I've already checked the oil, it looks good. It's got radiator fluid in it, oil, radiator fluid looks good. So we're gonna just turn it over and see if it'll do anything right as it is right now. And if it does do anything, we're gonna drain the gas, put fresh gas in it, and then go from there. shows here. Go ahead and put it in neutral. See if it'll turn over. Yeah, it does turn over. Well, it turned over, so we decided to stop here at the pump. Put some premium in it. See how big a tank it's got. Okay, got me some starting fluid. Go ahead and try it. Maybe it ain't gonna suck no fuel. Could have a bad fuel filter or fuel pump too. Okay, well we've we've narrowed it down to the fuel pump right now, so we're raising it up. There we're going up with it. We're gonna drop the tank out of it and put a fuel pump in it. We're gonna test the fuel pump first. Drain the tank, clean the tank out, check fuel lines and then put a new fuel pump in. So that's where we're at right now. All right, so we've, we've identified the issue. We've took the rear seat out of it, took the fuel pump out by taking the fuel tank out <clears throat> and here is the fuel pump that was in it. It was, it was in horrible shape. The fuel tank as well, you can see, is gonna have to be cleaned. But I resourced this out of a Ford Ranger. This is a brand new pump and filter. I just used a different hose, cut my two lines, and took this. I had this for a brand new Ford Ranger pump. Didn't use it, so it's just repurposed for this. I've already tested it. The float works, uh, send unit works, and the pump works. So we're gonna clean the tank. First thing we're gonna do is sit this down in some fuel and run the hose up to it and see if it's gonna run with this little bit higher volume pump on there. Uh, Ford pump, so it should make it run a lot better being a Chevrolet. So that's one good thing about it. So we're gonna test it out and see if that'll get it to Okay, run. we got some muriatic acid in here. It's doing its work, doing some cleaning on the tank. So we're gonna let that sit, slosh it around a little bit more and then uh, drain it into a container to take it off. And once we've got it all cleaned out, We'll stick that pump back in there and put it back in the car and see what the next issue is going to be. All right, we got the fuel tank and everything going, fuel pump. Uh, we're still not getting no fuel up here, so I'm going to take this all this crap right here off and get to this injector, and hopefully that injector is a problem. O'Reilly sells this for $250. eBay sells for $18. I figure cars made in China, might as well buy an injector from China. To do our test, we have our feed line and our return line. And our feed line and return line and we just got a little paint cup here held up with a little bungee cord just to test it before we put our good now all right we got it figured out it's running just simply off that we just about to run out of gas so we're gonna cut it off so we got it running. Okay, so we got it running. Uh, air compressor's in the back running right now. But it's not running right. We took the injector out and we checked it. Uh, we think the injector is sticking. So we're gonna, uh, we ordered a new injector. So it should be coming in about a week. As soon as the injector comes in, we'll do a little test drive if it, if it is a problem. But we have gotten it running. Uh, I have shipped it through the gears. I have noticed that the clutch is pretty much completely out on this thing. But it does run. So that's going to conclude the video for today. 
Uh, keep watching, hit the notification bell also at the top to uh, get the future updates of this car and of course all the other ones. Uh, and I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.